All right, a little Google Analytics 101 today. So if I want to see data from a particular date range for my website, I can go to Analytics, I can go to the dashboard, this is the default view, and I can go over here to where the date is, and uh, if I just click on the date or click on this down arrow, I'll see a few months come up, and then I can say, okay, the first day, let's say I want to see the month of June, I can click on June 1st, I can click on June 30th, I can hit Apply, and that's my data for the month of June. Now, this is interesting. I can also just click on an entire month, right? So if I click on the name of the month, it saves a little time saver. Now I'll see May. Now let's say I want to see what happened in June, and I want to compare it to what happened in May. Now I can click on June, I can click on May. Because May and June, May has 31 days, June has 30, Google gives me this little warning. It says the date ranges are different lengths. So what I could do is just compare the first 30 days of May to the first 30 days of June. All right, and that's apply. Now, if you noticed here, we'll go back and look at this real quick. The current date range is in blue, and the previous date range is in green. So on my graph, I'm seeing blue and I'm seeing green. I can go to any particular day in the month and hover and see what the traffic did in June compared to what it did in May. Uh, honestly, I wouldn't spend a lot of time looking at specific days unless you see a really big spike. If you see a particular day where there's a dramatic, and, and I would say, uh, you know, maybe 30% is a significant difference, 25%, but uh, on this particular site, I see this every month, so I don't really read a lot into it. Maybe I'm missing the boat here, but uh, I think the more interesting thing to look at is your traffic sources. So I scroll down here to uh, Traffic Sources Overview, and then just beneath this pie chart here, there's, a, there's an option to view a report. And what I usually look for is growth in uh, a certain area. So, you know, we've got growth in traffic from Google, organic traffic or search engine traffic from Google, growth from Yahoo, organic traffic. Uh, and then th I don't quite understand the Google.com referral. I'm not sure if that is... Uh, Google image search or what I'll have to look into that but I'm seeing growth in most areas so I'm happy with that and then um, you know there's just so much here to see but but anyway that's all there is to see on this video is just how to compare dates and how to how to pick a date and how to compare dates so anyway thanks for watching